Talos, known as Tiber Septim, Izmir, Dragonborn, and heir to the seat of Sundered Kings, was, and arguably still is, the greatest hero god of mankind. Talos is worshipped as the protector and patron of rulership and civil society. Uh, hang on. Hey, hey, cut the music. Crap, this is the wrong Talos. Let's start this again. The Talos Principle is an adventure story puzzle game not too unlike the Portal series. First things first though, this game is beautiful. Even the water physics kept me going for a few minutes, but seriously, QR codes? I haven't seen these since 2005 and even then it was a joke. Thankfully, the game decodes them for you. Seriously, if I had to dig out my phone, download a QR code scanner, and struggle to take a photo of my computer screen just to read these senseless cryptic messages, I'd have been pretty pissed. What the The game starts off introducing you to one of its puzzle solving tools. Now it told me that mouse one is drop. Sure enough, it works. I'm honestly not sure what I was going for here, but I was having fun, okay, so don't judge me. After some trial and error, I noticed that I should be interacting with the barrier. Seriously, when I saw the jam command come up, I was expecting something a little different. I then spent the next 15 minutes or so trying to outsmart the tutorial level. Can I take the jammer through the wall? No, I couldn't. Would this thing really blow me up if I didn't jam it? Yes, it would. Would the turret really sh Yeah, yeah, okay. But suddenly, a moment of clarity, I realized that if I set up the jammers just like this, I could get past the turret and take the jammer with me. I was the hero. I beat the robots. I beat Eloheim. I beat the game. And now, I had the jammer outside the tutorial mission and not a lot to really do with it. In fact, I later found out that this is actually something you are meant to do in order to get one of this game's collectibles. So in reality, all I had really done is conquer one of the easiest puzzles in the game. After 15 minutes of trying. So although the tutorial broke me in lightly, I still wasn't all that sure what I was supposed to do. But then, I heard it. Naturally, you collect all the Tetris pieces, ultimately leading up to the hardest game of Tetris you will ever play in your life. Victory! I am the master! Once again, I have beaten you! No, oh, wait, no, there's a lot more. If you ever get stuck, fortunately the computers here have a help command. And if that doesn't help you, you can always use the PC to spit out some fat beats. Step into the light, child, and my temple will be revealed to you. Whoa, now. If that doesn't sound pedophilic, I don't know what does. I bet you got some candies you want to share with us as well, huh? Well, I guess I like candy. In all serious though, the puzzles are quite fun and they rank up at a very steady pace. The odd one or two have some questionable properties though. I mean, peephole? Peephole? Who uses that word? There are only two uses of peephole that I've heard in common language. One of which is dirty and perverse, and the other one is peephole bras. Which I guess is dirty and perverse. Is this not a game about puzzles and philosophy, or did I completely misread the blurb? I mean, seriously, again, this guy is a torturer. These poor fellas have gone mad from captivity. Don't worry, little guy, I'll get you out. Well, they're free, uh, at least. These worlds are yours, and you are free to walk amongst them and subdue them. But the Great Tower, there you may not go. Well, the Great Tower it is then. Seriously, this guy really doesn't want you to go to this tower. One thing's for sure though, the tower really is great.
talk about compensating, eh, Aloim? Something you want to tell us about, Aloim Jr.? Oh, hey, hey, who are you? Hey, wait, okay, I'll follow. What? Where? Is this even supposed to be happening? Holy sh- Wow! <sighs> Be right back guys, I need to change my pants. So remember when I said the puzzle difficulty ramped up nice and evenly? Well, there's one or two exceptions to that rule. Most of them require guiding lasers, opening doors, disabling turrets, etc. But one of the collectible stars, in the first world, no less, requires the most intense puzzle solving you can imagine. First up, there's this random QR code. Bear in mind all the QR codes are just randomly strewn about, except this one doesn't decode when you look at it. Remember when I said you don't need a QR scanner for this game? I lied. Anyway, once you completely skip that and actually look up the answer on the internet, you will find that the code reads, The Eagle Has Landed, and then a bunch of numbers and stuff. Now is the time of tranquility, and I shall rest and observe the Earth. Uriel 4. Which quite obviously indicates... Come on everyone, all together now! The Moonlighting! So once you've worked all that out and obviously not looked it up on the internet, take a look at the pillars around you. Do you notice anything? Well, obviously, they all have mechanical buttons on them and Roman numeral numbers from 1 to 24. So naturally, what are you going to do next? Well, if you just said, Casper, this is obviously representing a 24-hour clock, so I am going to input the time that Apollo 13 landed on the moon, dumbass. Then you would be a smarter person than me, because Google was most certainly my friend on this one. The only other puzzle I found which was even remotely as difficult this one ended up blowing my mind. First up, you have to absolutely butcher the game physics to allow yourself to stay stood on this ledge. This bit alone took me at least half an hour. Once you're up, you can take a look through this absolutely out of place and unique in the game viewfinder. Don't forget, you have to already have found the key in some bushes earlier in the level. Once you've done that, naturally, you have to look at the moon. Don't stare into the sun, kids. Once you've done this, you'll spot one of the game's common puzzle solving tools. A little tripod that lets you redirect lasers. So at this point, you have to wander around not one, but two different of the earlier puzzles in this level, find the secret passage, do all sorts of extra puzzling in order to trick one of the tripods to get outside, then back into another puzzle to make sure that you have the tripod floating in the air so that you can catch its laser. Then, in the middle of the map, you redirect the laser from the first puzzle, using the stolen tripod from the second puzzle, and then shine it at the tripod on the moon, which you only know about from looking at in the nearly impossible to reach viewfinder that you found in the third puzzle. If you did it right, then your mind will be blown. Is... is that... is that the Aperture fucking Science logo? Did I seriously spend the last hour of my life doing this puzzle for a fucking Easter egg? <laughs>